Thank you. Residents across the Bay Area are showing solidarity at the University of South Florida. Ukrainian students and supporters gathered today in an anti-war rally. This was just outside of the Marshall Student Center on campus. Dozens gathered with signs to send U.S. planes and help Ukraine fight for freedom. We spoke to several of the students who have family there right now and are fighting back. Yes, I do have family there. Okay. Yes, I'm very scared for them, but um, uh, they're uh, holding, uh, they have Ukrainian spirit and the uh, spirit that they will win. And um, I think that is uh, why they're staying there right now. Well, that rally went on for a few hours and they say there are more planned. Meanwhile, with today being Ash Wednesday, churchgoers in St. Pete are using this time to pray for the people in Ukraine. Members of different congregations came together to show solidarity and to serve as a reminder, Ukrainians here in the Bay Area are not alone. Our Vanessa Ariza has more on that. The language may be different, but the message behind it can be easily understood. I see that no matter if you're Ukrainian or not, you still feel the pain. Olya Zerkas has family in Ukraine. She spoke to a loved one just a few days ago. They said they're staying, they're afraid. They're, she's afraid because she has high blood pressure, her medicine is running out. As the fighting continues in her first home, support is shown by the hundreds in her second at Epiphany of Our Lord Ukrainian Catholic Church. We're hoping that unified, we can all pray in our own way to show the support to the Ukrainian people. About a dozen faith-based organizations gathered at the steps of the St. Pete Church. Denominations replaced by words of encouragement and support. I thought it was important that the feet should also follow the prayers. Reverend Dr. Guillermo Marquez Sterling with Pasa Grill Community Church has congregation members who are directly impacted. He said it's one thing to put a message on social media to show support. It's another to put it into action. Too often we're divided. Too often we're pointing fingers at each other. Too often um, do we stay in our own little comfort zone. And this is an opportunity for us to build common ground. Languages, beliefs, and denominations may be different, but today was a reminder that in the end, we are all human. Members with the Ukrainian church are also collecting donations, monetary and items like hygiene products to send to Poland and other areas surrounding Ukraine to help those who have been affected. If you would like more information, we've posted that for you on our website, abcactionnews.com. In St. Petersburg, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.